Welcome back. Beat the Buffalo Hacker Satori. piece of me you think you got what it takes bring it on I'm really sorry, I was just trying to act like a cool hacker, but it's not really my style. I see that now. I think I'll log out and have a nice relaxing bath with scented candles. <laughs> Oh my god, that was quick. Check something for a bit.
HP up, huh? Alright, that takes care of that. We'll skip the battle seat until we get to the main fight. We'll skip the battles until we get to the main fight. I made a ton of money from that. How? By using Digimon to post ads on forum without permission. Business and booming. You're telling me to stop? I don't need some kid telling me how to do my business. Go home and do your homework. I'm not in school anymore, so I don't get homework. Ninja Claw. Nice. And the little fella on the left is the one that Digivolves into that. Take care of that. Okay, I'll work hard and earn an early living. Please just let me go. Alright, skip that this and we go on to, to the main story. Strategy. Students are cheating on in mission in maces using high tech equipment. I need to stop them. Can you help? <laughs> it 
is a case for an indoling teacher. He never taught me, but he might recognize my face. I don't think it would be a good idea to talk to him. I'll ask for you to do it. A case from a teacher at your old school. I see your predicament. I'll talk to him for you if you want. You stay out of sight. Pleased to meet you. Thank you for taking my case. I'm Masumaya Masuyama. I teach Japanese at Inoue High School. I'm also the guidance counselor. I contacted you to investigate an incident of group cheating in a certain class. I don't want news of this getting out. Students' futures are at stake. Whatever you do, don't let the police know. I understand. Please give me the details. We discovered that a group of students cheated on the last midterm test. All 40 students in the class were involved. Shouldn't you just punish them? We have no evidence and don't know how they did it, so we can't punish them. Then how do you know they cheated? Grade 3 Class C test results improved very soundly, and their answer to the essay question were identical. Maybe they use phones or digivices, or maybe they somehow got a hold of a question before the test. Students are forbidden from having electronic devices on them during the test, and a student did try to steal the test paper, but he failed. Since the inc that incident, the test paper had been kept under lock and key, but that hasn't stopped the class from cheating somehow. Our certain they found a way to smuggle in a small device and use it to cheat. Then why not single out one of the students, put the pressure on, and get them to confess? The one who tried to steal the test papers, for example. It was a Shingo, Shingobu, Shinobu, Shingunobu, Shingunobu from grade 3, classy. We already talked to him multiple times. But he just keeps saying he doesn't know anything about it. He won't say anymore. Kids in the class bully him into doing things for him. We tried dealing with it, but they're threatening him not to tell anyone. Putting pressure on him and trying to get a confession would just make his situation even worse. So we won't do anything until we have heard evidence, hard evidence. We can't just rush in and solve problem. It's all problem with force, like teachers did back in the old days. It must be tough being a teacher these days. It certainly is. So do you think, so what do you think about this incident? i like to hear your views. It sounds like they use some kind of device. There are ones now that are smaller than a P. But I doubt high school students would be able to get their hands on anything that's that sophisticated. If they did, not even a strip tease, strip shirt would be, <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> a strip shirt would not be able to find them. There are limits to what can be detected by the naked eye. How you consider approaching a specialist? Of course we tried that. We hired someone to the port. He by the get at the classroom door. He didn't find anything. Those students sure are cunning. You are our last hope. We're willing to pay whatever you ask. Please help us. It seems like we're the right people for this job. We'll investigate how the students put it off. Thank you. You please contact me as soon as you find anything. Well, start by running background checks on all the students. All 40 of them. This is gonna be hard work. That goes to for you too, Keisuke. You did take this case after all. All right. We usually want me to ask students from other classes about class three, class C, grade three, class C. 
No one in the third grade should know me. I hope. Still, I better be careful. Grade three, class C. I don't really want anything to do with that class. I heard most of the bad kids in third grade are in that class. I even saw a group of them yelling at a boy named Shingu Nobu, who was in my class last year. All right, that's one confession of bullying. Sorry, ma'am. Huh? Anything strange about the kids in three class, grade three class C? I got a friend in class C. He started wearing contact lenses all of a sudden, which is weird because his eyesight always been fine. When I asked him when he started needing glasses, he said he doesn't. He doesn't, but still has to wear them. I don't know what's up with him. Ah, I see. The glasses. Or how they cheated. <laughs> Grade three, class C. The class next to mine. You looking for gossip about them? I overheard them saying everything going perfectly thanks to that, thanks to the rapids. I had no idea what they were talking about though. Well, maybe they said mice. Whatever they said, it was some kind of small furry animal. Hmm? How's it going? So on this thing? Great. Tell me when you get back. Sorry for making you go. Didn't, it, didn't any other students recognize you? It was okay, but I was a little nervous. Sorry to hear that. Well, I think asking you to handle my part of the investigation would have been asking too much. While you were asking around, I found out some things about the hacking tool. Let's meet at Hooding to share what we found and discuss how we should how should we proceed. Several days later. Has there been any development? Yes, we identified the, t the tool they used to cheat. What was it? It's called a mole. It's extremely dangerous. Its cells have been banned. We found that 40 of them have recently been purchased on Eden Black Market. Then that number of students in grades three, class C. Right, my colleague inve investigated where they was shipped to. It's an area where the students in that class live. It appears that the students conspired to acquire this banned mold tool. But what exactly is it? It's a miniature wearable computer. Basically a mobile device that you can wear. Dang. It lets the user log in to eat in from anywhere. It's impossible to tell if someone's wearing one just by looking, and even if the latest scanners can't detect it. It's not only small, but incredibly hard to see. It's made, made for materials that are almost indistinguishable, indistinguishable, indistinguishable from the human body. How is it worn? It's like the set of contact lenses. And earpiece. They're worn on the surface of the eye and in the ear. So that's why we didn't notice it. I never knew such things existed. But why has it been banned? People have run into trouble while logged in with the, with the device. Transferring money to an unknown account, attacking strangers in the street, things like that. But all of those arrests have no memory of Arrested has no memory of those things taking place. So what's going on? Does wearing a mold make you go insane or something? 
No, but hackers are behind it. Hacking a mobile user allows you to temporarily control their actual body for some reasons. That's crazy. How is that possible? No one knows. Even the manufacturer and Kamashiro haven't been able to figure it out. That's why it's been banned. It's possible that it sends singles to the nerve and muscle tissue somehow, but only conjuncture. Electrical singles control the movement of the human body, and very little is known about the digital digitization of met mental data in Eden. How would you? So how could? The how could how could something so dangerous fall into the hands of kids? We have to confiscate them. And soon. Of course, but don't do anything yet. If we tip off tip our hand, some of the kids might get rid of the device. To make sure we don't miss a single one, we need to catch them right handed. You're right, but how? When the next when is the next test? Tomorrow is the first of the finals. Good, good to test as normal, and we'll catch them in the act. Understood, stopping the cheating is important, but please make confiscating the most your top priority. Tomorrow, we'll log into Eden and find the student using the moles. We have to determine if they really are using the moles to cheat. But, but why would they use such a dangerous tool just to cheat on a test? There might be another reason. How are things on your end? All 40 students are in class now. Has the test started? Yeah, they started writing. It really doesn't look like they're cheating. All right, here I go. Okay, I'm in. Yes, as we start, they are all in Eden. But how? They're all taking the test. A hacker must be controlling them. I think I get it now. What's going on? There's no time. I'll explain later. Just continue to test for now. Keisuke, do you know where the students are? Grade 3 Classy, Highway Earl. Highway Earl. So they skip out on the test and hit it in that place. That's only natural. They'll get caught right away in any of the public areas. Let's hurry. They'll disappear when the test finishes. This ain't working. It looks like there's no power. Yep, no power. Great. Wait, aren't little kids in class see? They're talking about something, but we're too, too far away to hear. There are probably more kids inside. We can't let them get, get one of them. So how can we get closer without them noticing? This is Cyberfree, we're hackers. There must be a way. And there is a hacking skill of stealth. Where is it? There we go. There's nothing to do at this time of the day. I'm so bored. 
still, it's better than taking the test. Isn't that, isn't the class almost over? Let's go back to the others. The test about to finish, let's go. There they are. And then he fell over. Seriously? That's so funny. I see. So they're all hanging out here. Hey, Shinobu, you better not screw up this test for us, or you'll be sorry. No, I won't. And you don't write the same answers like last time. They all know we cheated. So I, I'll be more careful this time. Takashi, your dad's the best. I love this tool. I wonder why they don't sell it in stores. I don't know, but it's good for us. You should be happy, Sh Shinganobu. You're finally making yourself useful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, we're real grateful. And you should be grateful to us. Two. <laughs> so that's what's going on. Class three. Students are making Shiganobu take the test for them. He's the one controlling them in the back in the classroom. He's impressive. Controlling one or two people is hard enough, but forty and writing different answer for each person why would someone that smart let people like them push him around he's smart but not tough I get it he's smart but not ha but not brave enough to stand up for his own he must be so frustrated uh, looks like the test is finished It's finished. Let's get back. Shinobi, see you tomorrow for the next test. I hate them. I hate them so much. I make them all pay. They're my puppets. Doing the next test, they'll be that'll be my chance. You'll pay, you'll pay, you'll pay for what you've done. This isn't good. Don't you get it? He has temporary control over more than three dozen people. If if I was tormenting someone like that, there's no way I'd ever let my victim have that kind of control over me. It looks like they don't even know what he that he can control them based on how they're acting just now. They don't they don't seem to have the slightest idea how the moles work. It sounds like Takashi's ki kid dad obtained them illegally and gave them to his son. What was he thinking? Now, we know how they got the device and how they're cheating. We should probably stop them. Hmm. But they deserve to suffer a little fat first hmm? the next day not another test chill out it's not as if we have to take it you're right about that <laughs> hey Shigunobu hurry up and get ready the test about to start Shigunobu no what do you mean, no? I'm still doing what you say. Look, you're not taking the test today. You're doing something else. What's that, our classroom? 
Huh? Everyone's standing up, but the bell hasn't rung yet. The test isn't over yet, right? Hey, what? What are you doing? The test isn't finished yet. What? Ah! Huh? Am I hitting the teacher? Hey, what are you doing that for? I'm not. My body's moving by itself. What the? We're all holding knives. What? What are we going to do? Stop! Stop! This. This right now. No, please stop! Stop! Oh no. No, we couldn't have. What's going on? We got out of the classroom and started climbing the stairs. What is this? You should know. You're the one who made me use this tool. What? Weren't you taking the test for us? Yeah, I was controlling your bodies and taking the test. Then I thought, I'd do a little experiment and figure out how much control I have over you. Didn't that thought even enter your mind? If I can make you write the answer, what else can I make you do? No way. <laughs> oh my god. Suicide. Hey, we're going on to the roof. The roof? Is Nova gonna make us do it? Hey, Shiganobu, stop. This isn't funny. Look, y'all climbing over the rail. One after the other. Shut some neat row of students. Watch closely. You look like crazy leaming. You look like crazy leamings, don't you think? Who wants to go first? I know. Let's go in alphabetical order. A, B, Abby first. No way. Shinobu, please stop. Three, two, one. Jump. Nope. Oh. Ah. My body, it jumped off the roof. Now to the next one. Ten. Here it goes. This is getting boring. Now for the rest of you. Ooh. There, that didn't take too long. You're all jumped off the roof. Are we dead? Yep, dead and dodos, all of you. How do you like that? I bet you wish you didn't push me around so much now. You don't like it when I push you back, do you? This is my revenge. The teacher, all of you are dead. You're lying. We're still here, right? Hey, I can't log out. You have no body to go back to. And I create this cyberspace. If I deleted it, you would disappear forever. <laughs> Feel better now? Huh? Who are you? Hacker. Hackers, your teacher hired. We come to confiscate the moles. You had your fun. We enjoyed the show. I've been wondering just how much that tool is capable of. The show? How could you say that? As impartial third party observers, though, I have to say. They were very cowardly at. Cowardly? Getting revenge in a way that didn't give them the chance to fight back. Cowardly is definitely the world. No one could respect you for doing something like that. And what do you know? You don't get it. They pick on me every single day, tormenting me, and making fun of me. You could never understand what it's like to have people laughing at you, hitting you. I had to do it. No one understands my pain. That's why I did what I did. They all deserved it. Now even you're, and now even you're making fun of me? 
I'll make you jump off the roof just like them. You can use a Digimon too. Agumon. Greymon. Having to find a Greymon. Almost done. Oh, come on. Can we just finish it off? No, oh, well, this should finish it. Do you feel better this time? I wasn't making fun of you. I was impressed by your determination. But you went about it all wrong. Surely you know that better than anyone. I do. I, f I should feel better. I just feel regret. What have I done? I killed people. Lots of people. <laughs> well, I you think crime will make it better? You murderer! Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? What he did was wrong. You had no right to blame him. You deserved it. Exactly. You pushed him to do it. You morons. That's who. We know. We don't need this. You don't need. We don't need you to say it. We've been bullying him and pushing him around for so long. It's only natural that he hates us. I'm sorry, Shigenobu. I, I'm sorry too. I never wanted this to happen. It looks like you all learned your lessons. Okay, Keisuke, now. Area network restored. You can log out now. Go back to school and take the test properly. But how? Aren't we dead? What you saw were one of Shinobu's memories. Memories aren't just a log of things that have actually happened. I abstract this fantasy of what he was planning to do to you. Convert it into data and recreate it in cyberspace. You're not really dead. You're sitting at your desk in the classroom where Mr. Matsumoto keeps an eye on you. Convert it to data, but how? Only a top hacker could do something like that. Of course, it's po impossible to access people's memories in Eden. But there are a brief window when new memories you just created can be copied before they're saved on the server. Luckily, you've been thinking about your plan over and over again. For the last few days, I just waited for that window and took the data. Then I just recreated it in cyberspace to match your input. It took a lot of time to adjust the data because they were fantasies and not memories of things that actually happened. The image was fuzzy. We stayed up all night doing it and legally is a gray area. Basically, it was a lot of work. So none of us, so none of it was real? How do you know? 
How do you do that? And how do you even know how memory data works? Who are you? One of our hackers has a special talent when it comes to memory data. But we couldn't log out. I temporarily cut this whole area off from the network. You couldn't log out because of the single was too weak. So I'm alive? What a relief. I hope this makes you think about how you behaved. If it were real, you wouldn't have a second chance like this. I get it. I won't do anything like that again. And you're going to tell us everything about how you and your father got the moles. Names, places, everything. Oh. So, I haven't killed anyone. Exactly. It was all virtual. I feel, if I feel this bad, even though it was just virtual, how would I feel if I really had killed them? You've been through one hell of a simulation. Thank you for stopping me. No problem. By the way, I told your teacher about all of this. He got a message for you. After apologizing to Shinobu, you will all take a makeup test for all subjects. If anyone's caught cheating, everyone will repeat this third grade. What? <laughs> well, it's only natural. <laughs> what do you mean? What? I'll say he's been lean. I'll say he's being lean. I guess taking makeup tests and repeating the third grade are not compared to being dead. You're right. I'll try my best to do it on my own this time. And good luck to you too, Shigenobu. Thanks. That case was a lot of trouble. I even made Erica do something that she might not be entirely might not be a tiger legal. <laughs> you just said there was a gray at her. How the hell did you just Oh my god you Huh? How did I know Erica could manipulate memory data? Didn't she tell you? Her memory data had been moved to an Eden server. Her brain is an actual server itself. She adjusts her own memory data. That's why she knows how it works. She always been a great hacker because of me, but after her accident and being treated by a commissioner, she actually surpassed me. Oh, it's nothing. I don't want to talk about it. Have you heard of the brain in, in that in a that hypothesis? Uh, that hypothesis. It posts that your your world you see is a virtual world that your brain shows you, just like Eden. I can't really explain it properly, but. For Erica, the memories here in Eden are her. For me, too, the digital, the digital Erica is the real Erica. When you think of it like that, maybe the virtual murder Shinobu just committed are actually no different from killing people in the real life. Man, that was long. All right, we're gonna stop it right here. See you next time.